learn me. Don't learn your pastor. Your pastor is human. You will meet your pastor at his weakest point doing the unthinkable. But you will never fault the, the man of Galilee. You can never fault Jesus. And that's why Jesus must be your picture. How will he say? What will he do? Where will he go? How will he handle this courtship? You are handling wrongly. You tamper wrongly with courtship. You close your heaven. You do shady things. You close your heaven. We fought fear, I said. Let me not lose sequence. And this year, last year particularly, the Lord came to us as a commission. He said, teach my people to face anger. And the Lord was serious. These are little, little, little things. They don't belong to the weight of immorality, stealing, uh, yahoo, yahoo, uh, arm robbery on the road. And he began to talk to me about Moses, that the people provoked him, and he spoke unadvisedly, and it went ill. It went ill with Moses. He had reasons to be angry, and I will tell you the reasons. Number one, Miriam just died, and he and Aaron were mourning Miriam, and then, you know, the, the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of cloud by night that was navigating the journey at this crucial moment took the whole Israel into a place where there was no water and that leaves me with a problem in my prayer if Moses can run out of water oh Lord help me if Moses can run out of water Lord help me to sustain an open heaven these things are said for the purpose of survival these things are said for the purpose of rooting so that you can be a tree planted by the rivers of God that bringeth forth its fruit in his season. A tree that cannot wither, ever fresh, ever under the economy of heaven. If Moses, 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 the meekest man at an unguarded moment, went back to what he buried, he brought it out and struck the Son of God. One, the rock did not bring water. Moses should have said, uh-uh. The last time I struck the rock, he didn't bring out water. But because of the fury of his heart, because he came out of the water to stand as Moses, not as a buried servant of God, he struck the rock again. God said, wow, to crucify my son two times. How about Moses? Bury me. Bury my will. anything i'm asking that the heaven over my head remains if the heaven is open anything can be rained down in the day of battle fire will come down the rain of fire if the heavens are opened time will fail me to begin to tell you stories stories upon stories i have fought with lions i have fought with dragons i live in a village and i've been there for i don't know how Yesterday, uh, three days ago, was our wedding anniversary. 29 years of marriage. Uh, Gloria, my wife, is on her, on, on, on her way. And I'm telling you the truth under God. We have seen the devil. We have seen battles. And I know that the greatest way to deal with the devil is to be buried and let God confront the devil. For it is not by power, nor by might. It has to be by the Spirit. That, 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 that. Blessed Holy Ghost, that blessed Holy Spirit, whose presence we so felt this morning, whose glory is all over the house. Do you know that that density is still here? You know, what came is not, uh, is not an emotion. The consequences were actually the emotions of the falling down and the <laughs> all we saw, but the thing is still here. You know, Peter said, let's stay here and not go. But you will go. You must go. Even if Jesus is transfigured before your eyes, they didn't stay there, they came down. And I'm telling you, I'm begging you, please, I beg you, what came upon you, keep. What came upon you, keep. 
I don't know whether this is the, that is the title of this person. What came upon you? What did I say? Talk to me. Let me hear you now. Keep. You're not talking. What did I say? What came upon you? What did I say? Keep. Whatever will close my heaven, take me away from it. Whatever. For Jesus, it was Satan that wanted to close that heaven. He brought fame. He brought name. He brought food. He brought kingdom. The 30-year-old man said, mm -mm, mm -mm. These things, they will come, but not from you, Satan. I'm not closing the meeting, oh. And I'm not ending the meeting, oh, but I want to resound to your ear that the Holy Ghost is more interested in what happens after here. And he has cases here. There are cases of people that saw heaven, that saw Jesus, that saw oil, that had an encounter at one careless moment. People. For Samson, it was Delilah. It was just Delilah. It was just Delilah. Ask your fathers. In this journey, as we minister, there are women that must not be touched. Forever and ever, pray for me. That woman is standing. You raise your hand. The Holy Ghost says, mm -mm. You need to know how to protect your anointing. You need to, pre to learn how to pre pre preserve the grace of God upon your life by the labor of prayer. Keep my heaven open. Give me discernment. We were in a crusade, Father in the uh, uh, Father, Evangelist Oguche, uh, Sunday Oguche was the one preaching. And as he preached, the people came to the altar. And I remember he asked that we go lay hands on people. And sincerely, I must say, in that village atmosphere, visibility was not too, not like this, not very sharp. And uh, we were laying hands ministering to people. I, 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 this is this, what I call the living point. In the hustle bustle of this one is falling, kara, 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 kara. there's still a lamp, there's still a listening ear, there's still, there's still an accountability to the owner of what drives this meter. I am not a functionary, I'm a servant. So here I go, laying hands on people, and I lifted up my hands. To touch a particular lady on the hair and I had quietly brother quietness that you spoke yesterday I don't know how it can be taught there is an ornament of a meek and quiet spirit that is precious in the sight of God if I'm not allowing anger it's because many noise will mingle with his voice If my wife has insulted me for 19 years and I have said nothing, it's because there's a blessed quietness. There's a holy quietness. There's a lamp in my soul. There are pictures I must, I must catch. Instruction is my life for as many as are led by the Spirit of God. Not many that jump around the Spirit of God. It's as many that are led by the Spirit of God. That are the sons of God. Sons. Not just children. Sons. Reliable sons. Powerful sons. So I raised this hand to touch. I remember. Oh boy. It's many years ago. I don't know whether it's safe to call that name. I know this girl. I, I, I raised my hand. And I heard, don't touch. Do you have a living oracle that advises your journey? your decision that's your living point you charge your phone you don't own the phone what for eh? just to charge just to charge when there's so much on youtube to watch there are whatsapping to do and there are calls strategic calls you've been charging but your phone is not on the life of prayer is a spirit that is switched on. A prayer life is a man that kindles the battery. I'm talking about a prayer life. I can pray for one hour. I used to meet God every day. It's your kindling point. It's your battery charger. But the life of prayer is a man that's not making noise. But everywhere you go, you pray without season. You pray without season. 
you pray with, what is praying without season there is a connect there's an antenna there's a listening there's a waiting they that wait upon the lord they, there's a waiting on the lord there is there is you have lost control you have no direction you can be preaching in samaria to a big city and the spirit will say leave samaria go to gaza there is one man forget about this crowd that man is the hope of ethiopia go there and meet him and you will not say well later because of the glamour of the meeting next day evangelist sunday which was on stage it was here i was laying hands emmanuel ibrahim was laying hands the other side and then this day again as the